Before starting the video of South Africa's Mzansi Youth Choir AGT 2023 live show performance, don't forget to like, share, comment on the video and subscribe the FMTP TV channel. South Africa's Mzansi Youth Choir has made it through to the final of Season 18 of America's Got Talent 2023, after nine further acts were booted from the talent show, the Mzansi Youth Choir from Soweto, South Africa, made it through to the finale, along with the 17-year-old blind Indonesian singer-songwriter Putri Ariani. With their stunning performance of Fleetwood Mac's Everywhere, dressed in white and gold in the Pasadena Civic Auditorium, the South African Choir secured a spot in the final episode, which will take place on September 26. From overall 75,000 entries around the world, the Mzansi Youth Choir is now one of the top 11. To get to the recording of the episode, the choir battled flight cancellations and other issues. Earlier this season, they got the first-ever audience golden buzzer for a group performance audition on AGT 2023. Judge Simon Cowell said in tears, I think this act is spectacular. Your energy and just the way you perform it just draws you in. We always say that this stage can make you or break you. Tonight, it made you. The choir made history in May when they got the first audience golden buzzer on this year's show, singing Nightbird's It's Okay as a tribute to the brave singer. Nightbird earned a golden buzzer in 2021, after emotionally revealing that she had breast cancer and singing a song that captured her resilient spirit. It brought Simon Cowell to tears. She subsequently passed away at the age 31 in 2022. Her family was in the audience on Tuesday. Many South Africans have written on social media how proud they are of the choir. Absolutely amazing, Mzansi Youth Choir. I'm so happy and proud of you guys, Emmy awarded flutist Wouter Kellerman. Another social media user writes, congratulations, you guys. But please keep your lively South African flavor, with the, next round. It's unbeatable. Our news reported earlier that the Mzansi Youth Choir made history this year America's Got Talent made after being the first participants in the competition's history to be awarded the golden buzzer by the audience. The choir sang their version of It's OK by Nightbird, who was also a participant in this competition before she died of cancer. Listen here to the Mzansi Youth Choir's presentation of the Fleetwood Mac hit, Everywhere. Before going ahead please spare a few seconds to hit the subscribe and like button of FMTP TV channel. The Mzansi Youth Choir's extraordinary journey began when they captivated the hearts of the judges on America's Got Talent, coding their name in history by earning the show's first ever audience golden buzzer during its 18th season. This week, they once again seized the spotlight, earning a coveted spot in the finale of the renowned show with their rendition of Fleetwood Mac's Everywhere, they aspire to elevate their nation's pride even further by clinching victory in this prestigious global talent competition. Artistic director and choreographer Alfred Fakathi expressed the hope that this international exposure will at long last bestow upon his choir the recognition that South African artists often find elusive. He said, It's a moment or an experience that one cannot explain, especially when we received the golden buzzer, you know. We created history because it was the first ever golden buzzer from the audience.
In the past 18 years of America's Got Talent, they never had a buzzer. We were honored to receive it. But the feeling, I was sitting in the audience when we received the golden buzzer, and I don't know how I ended up on stage. I don't have any memory of how I moved from my seat to the stage, and the following morning, I couldn't walk. My hip was dislocated, and I had a scar on my knee. But that explains the excitement that we all had. It felt like a dream because we were not expecting a golden buzzer at all. Two yes, three yes to get to another round. That's what we're expecting. So, a golden buzzer was a moment of surprise. That's why I couldn't be myself at that moment. This country has so much talent. But I would say the sad thing is that it's not appreciated that much. You have to go to a certain country or make it outside before South Africans can recognize your talent, which is sad. The Mzansi Choir has been here for the past 20 years, and it has been doing very well here at home, performing day in and day out. But to sustain ourselves because we are a non-profit organization, we would do corporate gigs to sustain the running and the cost of the choir. We've got 36 choristers that we need to take care of. We've got our bus, our own drivers that we have to pay. There's nothing that the kids contribute in terms of finance. Everything comes from the pocket of the choir. So that has helped us. But my point is that we've been here in this industry in South Africa for a long time, but it will take a stage like America's Got Talent to be recognized by your own people. When we heard her, Jane Marchevsky, singing on stage, we thought, wow, that's a beautiful song. But what touched us the most was her story. She conveyed the message that you don't have to wait for life to be good or better before you can enjoy yourself. If you can only experience 3% of life, then enjoy that 3%. That really resonated with us. We used it as our slogan during difficult times as a choir, to say, no, it's okay, let's go and move on. But when we heard that song, we decided to record it as a tribute to her as an inspirational person, not just because of the song itself. We thought it would be a great thing to perform her song in our own way, with the choir's harmonies and everything. Then we released it, and she responded so beautifully, saying, I'm holding back tears as I watch the Mzansi Youth Choir performing It's Okay. This is an honor. Thank you, Mzansi Choir. Mzansi Youth Choir! Heidi! I mean, this was giving me all sorts of really good vibes coming from all of you. It felt really, really good. It was a great song choice. You know, your harmonizing together was beautiful. I love the way everyone looks. Every time you really bring it. With your beautiful outfits, your makeup and everything. It just gave me a really good feeling when you were singing. Thank you so much. Sophia. I think we all got goosebumps. That was so beautiful. It's like a feel-good moment. You guys make me smile. It was like like listening to a soundtrack of like a movie. <laughs> Thank you. It so was much. spectacular. Thank you for being here. Simon. I think this act is spectacular. Your energy and just the way you perform, it just draws you in. And you know, we always say this, this stage could make you or break you, and tonight it made you. And uh, thank you once again for that beautiful, beautiful tribute you did before for Nightbird and her family, or part of her family are here tonight, and thank you for being here. Her family's here tonight. Holly! You know, I want to say, whether you're singing the words and the melody of Nightbird or you're doing Fleetwood Mac, you always bring your beauty, your culture, your look, and your essence to the stage, and it doesn't, you make it so unique, so original, so magnetic. I, I don't usually love choirs, I love you, and I, that's my three words for you. I love you. We love you. Now, Mzanzi, 
You went through a lot to get here. You had flight cancellations and other issues. How does it feel to get here and get the love from America that you're getting right now? We have the biggest family in America and we're so happy to be so by their stunning performance on AGT Live Show 2023 Week 3, Mzansi Youth Choir secure spot in the finale week along with Indonesian blind singer and songwriter Putri Ariani. The first act going into the finals is... Mzansi Youth Choir! By saying this we come to the end of the video of Mzansi Youth Choir performance on AGT 2023 live show, please don't forget to like, share, comment on the video and subscribe to the FMTP TV channel.